Humanity has evolved, and as a result, we no longer need to rely on horses for transportation or resort to witch burning when something confuses us. Thank science for that. It's not a closed door though, there are still many questions we have unanswered. With the universe being so vast, there will always be more to learn. With that in mind, here are 10 phenomena science can't explain. Number 10. The Taos Hum In the quaint city of Taos, New Mexico in the United States, there have been reports for several years now about people hearing a persistent, low sound coming from only God knows where. According to these reports, which started sometime around the 1990s, those who were able to hear the sound to either hear it as an irritating buzz, an excruciating whir, or as its name suggests, a hum. Research into the Taos hum has revealed a lot of things really, but none of them actually could identify its origin. What we do know is that based on a survey conducted by experts, only 2% of the residents of Taos can hear the noise and that these people aren't actually hearing the same kind of sound, which really doesn't conclude anything because of the mystery surrounding the Taos hum. Many theories have been presented to explain this phenomenon ranging from professional opinions that say it could just be a case of mass hysteria to local hicks proposing they're from UFOs. Number 9. Human Ancestors Humanity is pretty much a recent addition in the grand scheme of Earth's history, considering that we have only been around for less than a million years, which is just a drop in the bucket when you think about how long this big blue marble of ours has existed. So when exactly do we go from damn dirty apes to damn dirty apes that have the power to create civilizations? Well, studies on that front are still in progress. Experts have a clear idea that humanity, as we know it today, came from the interbreeding of various proto-human species, like the Neanderthals. However, recent study shows that another more mysterious ancestor of ours called the Denisovans, which were discovered in the Denisovan caves of Rueseshia, can be attributed to our evolution. To make matters more complex, it was discovered that this species possesses a gene in an edge yet unknown race of human ancestors. Not surprisingly, researchers in the field are baffled by what this mystery group of proto-humans is. Some say they could be from Africa, while others claim they could be from Asia. Of course, the usual town idiot could be heard saying, they're for outer space. Number 8. Placebo Effect the placebo effect is truly a curious phenomenon in that it has the ability to create considerable positive effects within a subject. If you're not familiar with it, the placebo effect is a medical phenomenon that takes place when any given person is prescribed with something, be it fake medicine or an irrelevant form of treatment, which it does not benefit their condition at all. The only caveat is that these people do not have any knowledge that what they have been given is basically a dud. Despite this though, research indicates that many patients who have been given this dud, the titular placebo have shown to exhibit a considerable improvement in their condition. Up to this day, it's a mystery how the placebo effect does this, and its implications would really be revolutionary in the field of medicine if we'd find out how it actually works. Number 7. Star Jelly Star jelly is a substance that's purported to come with meteor showers, except instead of space rocks, we get this sticky substance that's more akin to snot. For more than a century, there have been reports of this mucus-like substance appearing after meteor showers throughout the world. Now one of the main reasons that this hasn't been studied is because it's been claimed to immediately expire a short time after it makes landfall, which has led experts to call it a hoax perpetrated by crazy people. To less dismissive inquirers, though, theories about this space gel vary greatly. Some reports claim that it's all a matter of coincidence and association. Witnesses actually just see animal vomit at any given place during a meteor shower and hastily link the two together. Others, however, are far more outlandish going so far as to say they are carcasses of creatures living in the Earth's atmosphere. My guess, it's love juice from someone who decided to join the Mile High Club. Number 6. Animal Rain The expression, it's raining cats and dogs, is rather commonplace in our world today to denote that there's some heavy rainfall going on. However, when I say animal rain here, I mean that literally. Throughout history, it's become an uncommon occurrence although one with evidence for the sky to pour down various critters instead of you know water. One example of this happened in Japan when frogs started falling from the sky. Another happened in Singapore, except with fish instead of croaky amphibians. Up to this day though, no one is sure how this seemingly biblical phenomenon occurs. The most credible explanation is that these animals were just taken by tornadoes in one area and thrown off in another, which makes the appearance of apocalypse-style rain. An alternative theory suggests that these animals fell off a plane or something. Regardless though, you can't deny the sheer foreboding atmosphere animal rains create. That can have you screaming. The ND is N-E-I-G in an instant. 
Number 5. Tennessee's Synchronized Fireflies In the Great Smoky Mountains Park of Tennessee lives one of the most majestic animals you could ever encounter, which is synchronous fireflies. Whereas, most insects only elicit disgusted and fear from humans. This particular breed of fireflies does the opposite. That's because these glowing beetles put on quite a show when they, as their name suggests, light up simultaneously like a well-organized theme park presentation. It's such a delight to see it really, and also a complete mystery as to how these creatures manage to time their butt likes with one another. The only thing we know about them is the same thing we know about all other species of fireflies out there. Their bioluminescent quarters light up as a way to attract mates, as to why they do it simultaneously. It's been suggested that it's to increase their chances of getting noticed by their female counterparts. Still, that doesn't answer how synchronous fireflies manage to do it all at the same time. But hey, at least we know it's a bug orgy going on up there. Number 4. Namibian Fairy Circles The Namibian Fairy Circles are proof that mysteries don't always have to be dark or cramp. You see these unusual landscape formations are exactly what their name implies. It looks like it comes from a fantasy world. To explain these so-called fairy circles occur in the deserts of Namibia, when the grasslands suddenly form circular areas, where nothing grows in it as experts put it, it's a total mystery as to why this natural occurrence happens at all. First. There's the size. Each circle varies anywhere between 10 to 65 feet in diameter. Second, how come none of these circles overlap at all? Like they've been placed there premeditatedly. One theory suggests that the circles are formed by termites, but further studies have disproven it. As such, no conclusive answer to the Namibian fairy circles formation is currently present in our world with educated guesses going so far as to say that they're made when ostriches sit down on patches of grass. But come on, 10-foot diameter ostrich asses. That's pretty hard to believe by a long stretch. Number 3. Monarch Butterfly Migration Patterns you might not find anything too weird about monarch butterflies at first glance, considering they're probably one of the most generic species of this insect that you can see plastered on most butterfly designs out there. However, there is in fact nothing generic about the mysterious way with which this breed of butterfly conducts their migration patterns. You see, monarch butterflies is always migrating for thousands of miles in order to reproduce, which takes about half a year for them to arrive. Wherever it is, they want to make some sweet, sweet butterfly lovin'. Here's the kicker though, each monarch butterfly only has a lifespan of about six months. That means by the time these winged critters get to their migration point, they only have enough time to bone with one another and then immediately die. That means, the ones returning to their point of origin are actually their offspring. So the question is, how does this new generation of monarch butterflies know where to go back to if they've never been there before? Even now, experts have no clue how these migration patterns are formed, which gives us more reason to fear the secrets of the natural world. Number 2. Lefties and Righties It's an undeniable fact that there's only around 10% of the entire world population born left-handed, while the rest of us are relegated in our boring old right-handed lives. However, there is no concrete explanation out there that could give us the reason for this phenomenon. All we can know for sure, if we refer to the brain X studying this, is that our dominant hands are decided even while we're still in the womb, by which time part of our brain is more dominant than the other. And since our brains are wired in a crisscross manner, that means people whose left side of the brain are dominant end up becoming right-handed and vice versa. Still, that doesn't explain why there are more people who turn out to be righties than lefties in the world. One theory suggests that our right hands become more dominant by the time humanity developed tools and evolution handled the rest. Number 1. Mass Jellyfish Extinctions and Regenerations In the island of Eil Malk, located in the Pacific nation of Palau, is a little pretty lagoon called Jellyfish Lake, named so for the eponymous sea creatures that can only be exclusively found there. Oh, and did I mention that that's pretty much the only thing living there that means there aren't a lot of predatory animals around that could hunt it. The reason I tell you that is because of the weird circumstances surrounding the regular near-extinction level decline and subsequent repopulation of these jellyfish. That's been regularly happening since the year 2000. During that year, the jellyfish population in the lagoon declined at a critical level only to again reappear in mass a couple of years later, and this has been going on in cycles up to now. One year, you couldn't throw a rock without hitting one of these umbrella-shaded creatures. The next, they're nowhere to be found. Round and round it goes. No one exactly know why this is happening. With the leading theory being that the mass extinctions are caused by extended droughts in the area. The only problem is there are years when the jellyfish population in the lake thrives, even during stretches of drought. 
Do you think you can debunk these mysteries? Sound off in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this list, don't forget to subscribe to Brain Crane and hit that bell icon to be part of the notification squad to keep updated whenever we have a new video coming out. Thanks for watching.